Hey, good morning, YouTube. So I got my fifth pack loaded up here. I've been playing with these other four packs down there, but let's check the voltage here. Up, and there's my voltage, if you can see that, 4.018. So these seem to be fairly well charged up. I've got my new balance cable hooked up there. I'm not sure if if this balance charger will pick up just two cells. I tried this balance meter and it doesn't work with less than two. You've got to have two cells for the balance function or the voltage to even display. So I've got my eye charger. I've got it on discharge. And this, this charger has what's called regenerative discharge, which means it's actually pumping current, the, the discharge current is actually getting pumped back into my battery bank. Yeah, there we go. So it's reading the balance lead. So yeah, it's reading 3.99 volts. Let's go back here. Yeah, good. That's, see, it's reading 3.89 here on the uh, discharge, but it's reading 3.98 off of the balance leads here. So that's good. I wanted to see that. Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. So I think these new balance leads on the other end are working quite well. So I have this pack. I discharged it down to about 3.7 volts and then now I'm doing a 5 amp charge. Yeah, we can go over there and take a look. And you can see the charging voltage is now over 4 volts. We're still at 5 amps, and if we look at the balance voltage, we're under 4 volts. So I'm shooting for 4 volt charge, and the uh, balance lead is still picking up 3.94, and yet the uh, charging voltage is over 4. Now before I put that balance lead on, the uh, charger would have been ramping down the current at this point but now it says it's uh, actually doing a balance charge even though there's only one cell but it's using the balance leads for voltage sensing and it's keeping the current at the 5 amps that I set so I think that's going to charge much quicker yeah so actually I had about 40 millivolts drop along the uh, the terminal strip here, or bus bar, whatever you want to call it. So there's about 40 millivolts on each side, and that includes the strip, these jumper wires, and then this charging cable all the way over to there. So there's about 80 millivolts total between the two wires. So you've got about 40 millivolts on each side at 5 amps. You really don't think about that on a... So like right here I'm charging that uh, single cell that I took or separated out of a pair and here there's no balance lead. I'm just charging on the battery terminals on both ends and you you really don't think about the the voltage drop in there. There's probably a little bit, but you're only charging at at a fraction of an amp. But with a big battery pack, you're charging at five or ten amps. And now, instead of being a few millivolts, you've got tens of millivolts of voltage drop. Yeah, so I think these uh, balance leads on the other end of the battery holders are probably a good idea at least for doing the balance charging. This balance cable will really help because I can do one, two, three, or four cells depending on how many uh, packs I want to charge up and the reason I want to do that is I found that doing a balance charge say on all four packs like when I charge these four it takes a long time if they're not balanced to start with because as soon as say one bank gets to four volts it goes into balance charging mode where it's 
discharging this one and then it charges everything up a little bit so it's actually quicker if you charge this one at 10 amps charge this one charge this one charge that one bring them all up to four volts separately and get them roughly balanced because it, it can take all day to bring these up on a balance charger if you're doing all four series packs at one time but yeah then I gotta try to get some better numbers here that's why I want to bring this whole thing up and that's the other other thing is I want to be able to discharge these separately with the balance leads because I think these numbers were a little bit low because the charger when it's discharging as soon as it sees three volts it shuts off but it's losing 80 or 100 millivolts in the wiring so if I can sense the voltage down here I'm actually measuring the cell voltage and not the uh, voltage drop in the wires so I think that'll help so I'm hoping I can get these numbers up and then I can just speed up the whole charging and discharging process those millivolts matter and you got to measure the voltage at the right place and <laughs> there's lots of little tricks to learn there so yeah I just thought I'd pass on some of these uh, things I'm learning here and if you have any other questions post up in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching